Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 21st of February 2019 and the time has just gone 9.50 GMT. This week's Chart of the Week is silver. And as we can see here, uh, the silver market has been in a solid upward trend since mid-November no mid last year. A nice series of higher highs and higher lows. So solid example of an upward trend and yesterday uh, the silver market reached its highest level in seven months so it gives you an indication of how bullish the silver market has been and if you stretch uh, the chart out a bit further we can see it we can see the, the price action back to uh, 2018 and you can notice how I'll come back, uh, which you, and you'll notice how yesterday and previous to that in January the silver market failed to to move beyond the 16 spot 20 price action this area here and if you can see here from the price action in um, in the first few months of 2018 the 1620 acted as um, that broad area acted as very decent support back in uh, the first few months of 2018 and now it would appear that it's acting as resistance so classic example of all support becoming new resistance now the market's been an upward trend for the last number the last number of months if we can manage to the silver can manage to continue on uh, the wider bullish trend that, that's been in place for the recent months. It might be able to break beyond 16 and 20. And then if, if we do see a close on a daily basis or weekly basis above 16 and 20, <clears throat> excuse me, that could be then become new support again. Uh, and that could be actually used as kind of a, a springboard for the market to push on higher again. And we could be looking at targeting 17, uh, $17.00. Or we could be targeting this area up here in around the 17 spot 35 region. If the silver market does manage to turn lower uh, yet again, uh, we could see support. We could see support come back into play in around this area here at 15 spot 50. Or if, if it falls um, further, support might come into play at this red line here at the 30 moving average, which comes into play at 15 spot 22, 15 spot 22. And a move below that might bring in the psychologically important $15 um, price into play. Now, the price action that we're, we're currently at is around 15.87, 15 spot 85, 15 spot 87. And this area is going to be of fairly big, potentially of big importance. Because if you take a wider view on the silver market, and if you take a draw trend line from the highs of July 2016 to the highs of June 2018 we get this trend line here and we can see here that actually that's fairly decent resistance uh, at the back end of January so the market was, was pushing higher it ran into the trend lines it ran into the trend line it acted resistance the market dipped lower and then it managed to actually trade above it and close above it yesterday but we traded back below today and we're actually trading pretty much on it so it's not uncommon for it for markets to kind of dance around the trend line before it makes a decisive move one way or the other. So I think the, the, the price action we're going to see in silver for the next few days could be uh, uh, fairly important. If the, like I said, um, the, the trend in the last few months has been to the upside. So if you can get back above the trend line and back above six, $16 and back and back up close above 16 spot 20, we could see the, 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 the upward move of the last number of months continue. But... If the silver manages to fall below the trend line and it remains below the trend line in the near term, it could be a sign that the, at the wider you know, multi-year downward trend is in play. And like I said, we could be heading back to, down towards potentially uh, the $15 uh, mark. If you are going to be trading silver, it's worth your while keeping an eye on what's going on with the US dollar. And later on today, we have a number of economic indicators from the US. We have durable goods. We have, we have, we have, we have durable goods. We also have jobless claims, and we have also service figures and manufacturing figures from the US there this afternoon. Uh, one last thing before I go, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Race. Thank you very much.